So, Sonny Halston questioned Michelle Tafoya and asked her, why were you at CPAC? And I loved Michelle Tafoya's response to that question because her response is what reality is. I have a saying called mainstream media versus reality. And I personally feel and know that Michelle Tafoya is speaking for people who you speak to outside of, of, of watching your own television. So, if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm JOA. I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe. This channel is everyone's channel. Um, you know, it's time that we all come together as, as opposed to being divisive and being separate. And I personally feel that Sarah Haynes, because she smiled and nodded with uh, Michelle Tafoya, and Michelle Tafoya are, are, are people who are trying to bring that middle ground together because me personally i've always felt like i'm i'm in the middle i'm an american but my parents were born overseas so here i am in the middle trying to trying to see if there's a way where i can talk to the full-on american side versus full-on <laughs> arab side overseas i'm being pulled in the middle and i'm not being able to move and that's how i feel politically that's how i feel all my life uh, with, with the way I was uh, the way I was brought up. It's like for American people, I'm either too traditional. And then for my people, I'm either too American. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So it's like I'm in the middle being pulled by both strings and I'm not moving. And there, there is a large people that encompass that here in the United States of America politically. Let's get into the video. I've said it before on the show that that term has, of course, been co-opted from the African-American community. And, and the term, if you even look it up in the dictionary, means an awareness of social and racial justice issues. I would think in this country, these United States, that people want to be aware of social justice issues well, and racial this justice issues. I don't know why that's a bad thing. This so I do, I do wonder, um, <laughs> and maybe, Michelle, this is for you, I just wonder what, how... Y'all are defining what? Well, I, yeah. first of all, I'm a libertarian. I'm an independent. So, um, and Why were you at CPAC? Because my message is I'll talk to anyone. I, 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 and I'll listen to anyone. I'm for more voices, not fewer voices. Mm -hmm. That's number one. So I wanted to go say, listen, uh, let's take hate out of all of this right now. Mm -hmm. Let's... It, the cancel culture, true, it goes both directions. Let's be honest about it. All the evils of politics go in both directions, come from both sides. It's true. Um, and I feel like there's a huge group in the middle, of which I am part, that is being ignored, that our voices are getting drowned out by this end and this end, and the in-between folks are being kind of told to shut up and listen and pay attention and, and not follow our own instincts. And really, we're focused on really like tangible issues like how much do i have to pay to put my gas in my car to put groceries on the table you know are my kids getting to go to school unmasked things like that that really do matter to us on a daily basis safety and security i live in minneapolis where the defund the police movement eventually got overturned by a vote in minneapolis so it's i think people want to feel safe and secure and it's not that social justice isn't important, but if it's the overwhelming at the but expense of everything else, then I think people mm. have an issue with it. I have it. a question because it seems to me that the extreme right is now the Republican Party. The extreme left is not the Democratic Party. It's a little different. I, I, don't, I don't agree. I, I think that you've got your extreme left and I've got you, your extreme right. Yes. Like I said, the largest party in America are the independents. Well, you know, this is one of the reasons why Andrew Yang, who some things that he said and have done, which I'm sure he regretted um, in the past politically, this is the reason why he left uh, the party and he is starting his own party. He even said uh, during his uh, campaign, while going on a campaign, that uh, Democrats and Republicans, they would just go in on each other, go ham on each other, as the children say. And later on, like when the cameras come off, they, they go to each person like, hey, you know, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just doing this because this is my job. So it's like, in a way, this is what media is now. It's like partisan media. And it's like people are intentionally going off on each other on air and doing this business model to fulfill ratings and clicks and profit. But off the air, they want to kowtow to one another and be like, hey, I'm sorry. This is just my job. This is what I have to do in order to excel in media. Um, I recall Sonny Hostin even talking about that with Megyn Kelly. It's like Megyn Kelly was super friendly with her off air, but by them being two lawyers, it's like the camera's rolling, baby. I got to do my job. It's either you or me. 
Let, let's 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 bring it on. And she was a totally different person, according to Sonny Hawson's Accord, when Sonny and Megyn Kelly used to work for one another. So unfortunately, this is what media has also brought into the world. It has changed since the past 10 years. When I recall trying to get myself into media, it's changed. It's changed so much locally and on a national and on a national level. And so this is why I say there's mainstream media versus reality. And I want to bring that reality perspective um, into into the world and say, you know what? I may not agree with everybody in the room. I'm at CPAC now. I may not agree with with everyone in, in the room. But you are all my brothers and my sisters, and we could always found find a middle ground, you know. Or if I'm at a um, Democratic convention, I may not agree with everyone in the room, but hey, like this is what this country is all about. We're a melting pot, and the way this country was built is different people uh, coming together, building, producing, and let's find a middle ground to where we can agree. And if if people on both sides of the aisle say that and agree with the moderate lane in that, then it's like the world would be a much better place. And I'm sure everyone watching this would agree. But anyways, let me know sing in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I liked her. I liked her today. I mean, I liked her last time as well, but I mean, today I feel like she brought a different, a more of a um, civil civilness well i mean a lot of people still don't like her i was reading the comments but i like michelle to for you i'm a fan i'm a fan of you sarah haynes and to sarah haynes i apologize two years ago i used to say that hey i don't know why this girl's on the show but sarah haynes is definitely needed on on the view so i apologize i'm sorry sarah haynes I, i'm really i apologize you know you grow um thank you so much for watching yeah yeah